Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Lori Schulte. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the end of April and first week of May. From drinking water to snow plows, the city's Public Works Department provides many services you rely on. But ever wonder how the job is carried out? You will have the opportunity to find out during the Public Works Open House in May. The event is in celebration of National Public Works Week and will give residents the opportunity to learn more about the department's services. There will be equipment on display and demonstrations throughout the Public Works Building. There will even be snow plow rides. The open house is at the Public Works Building on May 16th. It runs from 9 to noon. Snacks, games and prizes will also be offered to visitors. That open house isn't the only time residents will get the chance to check out the city's resources. Vehicle Day 2015 will give folks an opportunity to look at the trucks and cars that help deliver city services. Bloomington, Edina and Richfield will get together to showcase their vehicles in the Southdale Center parking lot. It's a free event put on by the three cities, parks and recreation departments. You can get up close to fire trucks, police cars, snow plows and more. Vehicle Day is Saturday, May 2nd from 10 to noon. Again, it's in the parking lot at Southdale Center. You'll want to make sure to check that out. The Bloomington Chamber of Commerce hosted a United States Congressman. It was part of a series put on by the Public Affairs Committee. Congressman Eric Paulson represents Bloomington and other Southwest Metro communities. During this event, he touched on many issues, including transportation, trade and tax reform. He says comprehensive tax reform is needed for businesses to succeed. He gave the example of businesses having to pay taxes twice on a product sold overseas, once to the foreign country, then again to the United States when bringing the revenue back. If you want to keep the headquarters here, you want to keep the innovation here, you want to keep those jobs in Minnesota and the United States, you've got to get the earnings back home. And we have a tax code that is very um, uncompetitive vis-a-vis -vis our, our trading partners in the sense that we tax our earnings twice. And other, a lot of other countries don't do that. After Paulson spoke, the group had the opportunity to ask questions. Topics brought up included water management, human sex trafficking, and immigration reform. May is Older Americans Month and Human Services will celebrate with a special event at Creekside Community Center. Singer and storyteller Stephen Marking will perform his show Our Mighty Mississippi. It's May 4th at 1130 at Creekside. To reserve a spot, contact Human Services by April 30th. Just call 952-563-4944. This event is just one way the city celebrates older people in the community. Creekside Community Center offers many programs for people 50 plus throughout the year. Residents can get involved in things like Zumba, Lapidary, and Woodshop. Human Services is also teaming up with Bloomington Public Schools and local faith communities for a winter boot drive. There are drop-off sites throughout the community and boots will be collected through May 5th. Waterproof boots are preferred. If you need more information, call 952-563-8733 or email humanservices at bloomingtonmn.gov. The boots will go to students across the community in need. You can also visit the city's website for a list of drop-off locations. Runners and walkers with school spirit have an opportunity to show off their Normandale pride. The Community College will host its inaugural Roar and in Red Fun Run and Walk on May 1st. Participants are encouraged to wear red or Normandale clothing. The 5K will circle campus two times through the Japanese Garden and Hiking Trail. Proceeds support the college's students and programs. To register, go to the college's website at normandale.edu and click on the link at the bottom of the homepage. Art is a staple at Civic Plaza, but it usually doesn't travel all the way from Japan. This is a student art exhibit from Bloomington's sister city, Izumi City, Japan. It was on display the first week of April, and Mayor Jean Winstead and school superintendent Les Fujitaki chose two pieces that received awards of distinction. Since the early 90s, the Bloomington Sister City organization has been promoting international understanding through things like this. The BSCO hosts a variety of cultural exchange events where information and ideas are shared. While students half a world away had their projects on display, an exhibit down the hall showcased students here at home. These pieces are part of the 3rd Congressional District High School Art Competition. 
The Bloomington Theater and Arts Center hosted the annual exhibit chaired by Congressman Eric Paulson. 88 student artists in the 3rd District submitted artwork for a chance to have their piece on display in Washington, D.C. in the Halls of Congress. There's also cash awards for 1st, 2nd, and 3rd place winners and 6 honorable mentions. Two instructors from the Minneapolis Technical and Community College will choose the award winners. Only the grand prize winner will have their art on display in D.C. That is the buzz on Bloomington today for the end of April and first week of May. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. There you'll find two pieces on organized collection. One is a sit-down interview with Public Works Director Carl Keel. The other is an excerpt from the Block Captain's workshop in March where the mayor addressed the issue. Check it out and thanks for watching.